Welcome back. I want to remind everybody, the show brought to you by uh, the Ireland Contracting LE Sports Call, brought to you by Ireland Contracting, Pittsburgh's number one home exterior expert in roofing, siding, windows, and gutters. Josh Taylor, Gene Collier, so taking phone calls, 412-575-2600 on the Bordas and Bordas hotline. Also taking your tweets at Josh Taylor HD. Gene, let's take another phone call. Let's go to Rick and Elizabeth. Rick, you're on the nightly sports call. Hey, guys. Thanks for taking the call. I appreciate it. Sure. Um, I wanted to uh, – my point I wanted to bring up to you guys was the, um, the Sunday lineups that uh, litter baseball um, across the board. And then also that same can be said um, sometimes on Thursdays because usually Thursdays is not – uh, a game day, you know, it's not, they usually don't play on Thursdays, but... Because Wednesdays do, are getaway days, right. Yeah, it's an afternoon, and so but they end up, um, especially the Pirates, the point being that uh, they're in, you know, they're in a running for a playoff spot, and I just wanted to get your opinion um, on this whole lineup thing where you're resting, you know, a number of your starters and you're putting, you know, the other guys in, um, especially at this time of the year. I'll hang up and listen. Thank you. Well, first things first, to be clear, they didn't do that today. So it's kind of a... Well, did they start... Uh, off topic question. Danny Echeverria? They started Echeverria, mm-hmm. whom I would argue is a better defensive shortstop than Jordy Mercer, which yeah. is probably why they acquired him in the first place. Yes. I have no problem with that. Yeah. I have no problem with the line that they put out there today. I had no problem with it. If you want to really find something to nitpick, Francisco Cervelli starting as your cleanup hitter, okay, fine. They don't have one. They don't have a cleanup hitter. So someone's got to hit in that spot. If, if I wanted to nitpick, you can put Moran four and Cervelli five. I don't know much of a difference that would make, it, just in my personal opinion. Yeah. But here, here's a question I want to ask you, Gene. Mm-hmm. Haven't Sunday lineups been a thing for quite a while in Major League Baseball? Yeah, they really have. And, um, you know, they kind of get kind of a bad rap. I think the question is... Um, are the Pirates in a situation at this point in the season, at this point in the uh, so-called wild card standings, where they cannot afford to play backups and cannot afford to present Sunday lineups, uh, even on Sunday, let alone another day of the week? You know, you can make that argument, and, you know, it's, it's legitimate. But the, the flip side is if you're going to play the same eight guys every day, you're going to have a bench full of people that uh, are useless to you because unless you get to play once in a while, once or twice a week, it's very hard to be effective as a hitter off the bench. And you'll have a tired eight guys. Yeah, and that's what you know managers are trying to strike the balance uh, of all the time, and that's why you have these so-called Sunday lineups, sometimes on Wednesday and Thursday, depending on the schedule. I always ask the same question. When someone asks me about a Sunday lineup or a getaway day lineup and say, well, why are they always resting guys? And my question is, well, my thing is, A, they're not always resting them. They're resting them in this particular situation because they have to go travel to another city. And the travel adds to the fatigue factor, especially if it's a long flight, especially if it's coast to coast or maybe across a time zone or two. The second thing is, I don't know many jobs where you're expected to work every day. Yeah, I mean, take the case, of, for example, of Jordy Mercer. Uh, you know, if you can get him uh, a rest today, um, you know, then he doesn't have to play until tomorrow night. And a lot of times, you'll see the, the, the real popular time for the Sunday lineup is when there's no game on Monday. Right. Uh, so so now you give your starters two guys, days off. Guys, you can get your regulars, guys who play all the time, you can get them two days off. And managers love to do that. Uh, I've never seen an analytical breakdown of how effective it is, you know, in the next particular game. But I think over the course of 162, it is, or they wouldn't do it. And it's not like old school baseball where you had amphetamines to draw on. Well, there's that. I hadn't thought of that, John. Excellent you, point. No bowls of them in the clubhouse. You just grab a couple and pop them like Tic Tacs. It's not 1974. These guys got to go play every day without a lot of help. And last time I checked, people don't like guys using steroids anymore because I get a lot of complaints about Starling Marte and Francisco Cervelli in that regard. So it's not like you have that help, at least if you're following the rules. So you got to get rest and get re-energized somehow, right? I agree. Probably the best way to rest is to actually... I don't know. Rest, perhaps. Got to close out when we come back. Stay with us.